Well, we're still down here in the North Sulphur River and we just made a great discovery. Right over here in the gravel is a large vertebrae from a mosasaur. Now you can tell by the shape of the vertebrae what part of the animal they come from. This is a thoracic vertebrae. That is from the middle of the back. They change shape. Basically, this goes from the base of the neck down to the base of the tail. And the reason you can tell he's got these massive processes on the side where his ribs would have attached. Something I learned recently studying mounted specimens at the Perot Museum is that I always thought the ball went to the front and the socket to the back, but actually on the skeleton, the ball is at the back and the socket is at the front. The ribs come off here and there's an arch about this tall, just a straight piece of bone that comes up called the neural arch. Now this is about a, probably from a 25 to 30 foot animal. That is an average sized mosasaur. They got much, much bigger. Not quite as big as the one in Jurassic World. They used a little uh, poetic license there. But I did discover the largest Tylosaurus, which is the biggest North American species of Mosasaur, here in the Sulphur River back in 2001. He's the largest one ever found in Texas and one of the largest on record. They estimate his complete length at 48 to 52 feet long. Basically, Mosasaurs were a giant lizard. Their closest living relative is the Komodo dragon. They had evolved to live in the ocean. You can see their paddles instead of feet and a wide tail, which was used for swimming. They were fast and powerful predators. I call them the T-Rex of the ocean. They would eat just about anything that they ran into. Uh, one cool thing about mosasaurs, not only did they have these super long jaws with teeth along both sides, they also had a third set of jaws in the roof of their mouth called the pterygoid jaw, two more rows of teeth in the roof of their mouth. So basically, once one of these guys got a hold of you, he wasn't letting go. They have found actually in Kansas, uh, this same ocean that covered North Texas, extended all the way up into Kansas and Nebraska, they found the skeleton of a 25-foot mosasaur that had apparently choked to death swallowing a 12-foot fish. So it's a 20-foot mosasaur swallowing a fish half his size. That would be like me trying to swallow a second grader. They truly were the, the dominant predators of the Cretaceous Ocean that covered North Texas here 65 million years ago. So thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Please like, share, subscribe, and visit my website. Read about me and my books, www.lewisbensmith.com. This is Penny. She's a week old. She is the newest addition to our herd. As you can see, this is a very thick notebook. The oldest entries in here go back to when I was in high school. Leaf piranhas.